Jalen Hurd. Woo. And uh, Tom, I'll let you take this one because I know we how you feel about We get weird Hurd. at receiver in early round three. Uh, Jalen Hurd, I'm not totally surprised he went round three. I didn't think he was going to go this early. I have a round five grade on Hurd, but there's definitely some upside here. So it's not like it's a totally disastrous pick. 6'4", and some change, almost 6'5", 226, so he's got that borderline Hakeem Butler mold. Here's my question. I don't know what you see on tape of Jalen Hurd versus Hakeem Butler that says Jalen Hurd's a better player. Now, you can use him as a chess piece, as a running back, if you want to give him some snaps there. He's going to be a big slot and looked a lot more developed than I thought he was going to be as a receiver there. Now, he did leave Tennessee. It wasn't all his fault there. So I, I'm surprised this is the pick, but he's great after the catch. It's a high-risk, high-reward selection. I'd have felt a lot better 30 picks later. But if this pans out, I mean, got a, got a good player there. Like Marquise Colston type big slot for you. Ooh, Marquise Colston kind of. A he he played there. mostly in the slot at Baylor, and at 6'4", 226, that's almost tight end size. So there you go.